Hi, welcome to Shreya TV and this is the fourth in the series of voice work in which you and I are together working on the most effective vocal techniques that will help us sound not only impactful but also more meaningful, purposeful and authentic. And today I am talking about rate of speech, also known as the tempo, how fast we speak or how slow we speak. If you haven't checked out the previous videos in the series, I insist you pause this, watch those and come back because these are designed sequentially. One leads you to the other and then it's going to make a lot more sense. The idea behind working on the rate of speech is to ensure that you're more uh, conscious and aware about creating the contrast in the tempo, which means that there are certain spaces in our speech where we have to go fast and there are certain sentences where we've got to consciously slow down just to create the desired impact. And then there are a whole lot of sentences where we maintain the tempo or the rate of speech. So let's see through a practical example how we can do that. I have a quote here and usually I do this exercise through a quote. Pick any quote of your choice. I have picked a quote from Mark Cain which says, uh, the first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself. This is the quote I'll be using to demonstrate effective rate of speech techniques. We all naturally speak in word groups and we do this subconsciously so that it gets easier to imbibe the information we are receiving. Even while reading, thanks to the commas, semicolons and full stops, it gets easier for us to register how fast one sentence has to go and how slow or fast the other one has to go. So. Taking this example, I've consciously not put any commas or semicolons because I'm going to show some word groups to you. So I'm going to prepare some word groups and let you know how to speak the same quote with a lot more impact by using rate of speech as the tool. So here are the word groups. I'll first say the entire quote without any word groups and then say it using these word groups so that you clearly hear the difference between the first and the second. The first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself. Word groups are all these uh, bubbles that I have created. So each uh, couple of words are in a bubble. So I'm going to say those bubble words together and each together. And then decide which group has to be spoken fast and which group has to be spoken slow. The first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself. The experience of the listener gets more rich because I have consciously used word groups. Now let me demonstrate how I'm going to say certain groups faster and certain groups slower and then you'll hear the impact a little different. The first step, so this was slow, towards success is taken, this is moderate, when you refuse to be a captive, so refuse was slow, to be a captive was relatively fast, of the environment, again fast, in which, more slow to moderate, you first find yourself slow, ending on a slow note. So I agree that this is not practically implemented. The way I demonstrate it, you don't practically talk like that in business meetings, but it's important to take the essence of it. There are words which need to be emphasized, there are statements that can be said fast and there are certain statements in even the most professional setups which consciously need to be spoken slow so that people can receive them slowly and definitely. Another technique that you add on rate of speech is emphasis. Emphasis on certain words so that the listener can visualize which are the bold words and which are the highlighted uh, Sentences or words in your speech that creates a next level impact. I'm going to use emphasis now uh, Using the word groups and then you hear the uh, change and impact The first step towards success is taken when you refuse and refuse is an emphasis word here To be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself. So first was my emphasis word. 
Ideally, there are about two to three emphasis words in four to five sentences because emphasis is a strong vocal technique that you're consciously exerting breath on certain words to get more attention but you don't want attention all the time because the essence of your message is going to go away if you start emphasizing on almost every word. The more contrast and variation you show in your rate of speech, the more attention you're going to get from your listener. So this is an underestimated technique but worth trying at every step. So I want you to now pick your quote, make word groups in it and mark them which word groups do you want to say fast, which ones do you want to say slow and which ones you want to say moderate. And after that, I also want you to pick some emphasis words. What are the words which you're going to purposefully emphasize on and then make this a practice slowly and gradually and see the impact you're going to create through your real speech. I hope this technique turns out effective for you. I want you to shower in your comments and tell me how far you've come in because there are four videos already now. The last video in this series is going to be on volume and pausing so make sure you watch. Of course I will let you know in advance when I'm going to release it so stay tuned and thank you for watching. Take care.